Who here hasn't been to space? Why? <laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, one. So it looks like uh, we might have some information here about Venom 3. Now, it's not as if we didn't know things that from the leaked things that we've heard or whatever um, in regards to Venom 3, but I uh, will go ahead and share some of the things we already do know about Venom 3. We know that Spider-Man should be and is supposed to be involved in Venom 3, and that is per Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, you know, a while back, I think after Venom 2 came out, he shared on his Instagram and then quickly deleted the picture of uh, Venom looking like he was about to try to eat Spider-Man. And um, we do know that Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy has spoken before about the possibilities of Spider-Man being in this next film i mean i feel like that's where we were leading to that's the, you know the whole post credit scene and let's get into that too the whole post credit scene that took place in venom 2 where you know he says that guy um when he walks up and sees tom holland spider-man which still kind of doesn't make sense but sees well actually let me say let me let me make, let me say this when i say it doesn't make sense it, it makes sense as to why venom knows who spider-man is it made sense as to why he knows that you know about spider-man it doesn't it, it just didn't make sense you know the whole venom coming into the mcu then quickly leaving the mcu i understand he left a piece of the symbiote in the mcu that we're going to see played out in spider-man 5 and 6 from what we've heard but um it did make it definitely made sense for venom to know who spider-man was why because of the hive mind you know the hive mind it's a connect it connects it connects them all and what one venom knows or what one symbiote knows because of the hive mind the rest of them do know and this was explained again um uh venom himself venom himself explained it to eddie when they were laying in when they were uh when eddie was just laying in laying in bed and they were having that conversation and everything like that so venom kind of explained that to him so for so for venom to know who spider-man is he would I, what I interpreted from it when he said that guy, it wasn't like, oh, that guy. It was like a that guy. Like, that's the that's the guy that kicked my ass a while back, you know, from Spider-Man 3 when we saw uh, what Toby Spider-Man did to Venom and things like that. So we know that Spider-Man's coming. Tom Hardy, again, has spoken about that. But the Direct has come in with some new information. And this is what they are having to say. The Sony Spider-Man universe continues to expand. And according to new updates, the franchise's first threequel could begin filming uh, later this year. After the success of Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage, a potential Venom 3 felt inevitable. Uh, the film was officially greenlit back in April 2022 and has been teased as a last dance for the franchise star Tom Hardy. Since then, the project, the last dance, hmm. since then, the project has remained relatively quiet aside from the news that writer and produ that writer and producer of the first two films, Kelly Marcel, would be taking on directing duties. Now, after months of near radio silence, fans of Sony's symbiote finally have something to get excited about. And it goes on to say Venom 3 will begin shooting in just a few months, according to industry insider Daniel Richmond, Daniel RPK. Then he goes on to say in his la in his latest Patreon post, Richmond wrote that the Sony that the Sony Pictures threequel is set to film from June to September in England. Thus far, with the other two Tom Hardy led Venom films production has usually officially kicked off around a year out from the film's eventual or planned release. Venom began production in late October 2017, which with the movie's theatrical debut on October 5th of 2018. Let There Be Carnage began filming of November 15th, 2019 with the original with an originally planned release date of October 2nd, 2020. This release would be pushed back a year to October 1st, 2021, due to the lengthy reshoots on the project as well as the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. In Venom and Venom 3 were I'm sorry, in Venom 3, we're to stick with the franchise's trend of fall releases. That would mean the threequel is likely amid is likely aiming for October 2024. However, the production on the latest super-powered epic starring uh, starting a few months earlier than its pre predecessor, that could be a sign of Sony Pictures eyeing a summer 2024 release for the project. And then it goes on to say, when will Venom 3 be released? Right now, it is looking like Venom, th Venom 3 will hit theaters, theater screens in the second half of 2024. Sony Pictures has seen plenty of success with the, the October release window in the Venom franchise, ra ranking in over $1.4 billion across the two films at the box office. However, a switch to the summer blockbuster season could prove to be beneficial for the symbiotic, symbiotic threequel. 
Uh, Sony Pictures has only four movies officially marked down on its slate for next year, with the three Spider-Man related projects all coming out before the end of 2024. El Morto, <laughs> Madam Web, and Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. The only other film on the 2024 Sony slate at this point is Garfield, which comes out on May 2024. I'm sorry, on May 24th. Uh, that means the studio wanted Venom 3 to be the summer movie. There is ample opportunity to make that so. The one thing that the Sony brass will have to determine is where the first two Venom films' successes beca because of their fall releases. Uh, or could the franchise be even more of a box office juggernaut during the summer blockbuster season? So again, uh, they're going to start filming here relatively soon. Uh, within the next few months is what they're saying so it looks like they're going to start uh, shooting in june from june to september in england uh, again we know that spider-man is supposed to be involved in this and I'm, I'm gonna take that with a massive grain of salt why because sony is always gonna fucking sony that is what they do you know we understood that so spider-man was supposed to be a part of morbius that was teased to us for two motherfucking years and then two weeks before the film came out spider-man was removed any inkling of spider-man was removed and that for me was the exciting thing about morbius i if you go back and watch any of our videos talking about morbius i had so many theories i had so many speculations i was going you know i, I was like this is going to connect to this and they're going to do this and they're going to do this and they didn't do any of that and it, it was a huge letdown now again i still have not seen morbius i refuse to see morbius because I was lied to for two fucking years about Spider-Man and not only that I'm not interested in seeing things from Spider-Man's franchise without Spider-Man in the fucking film so when you take when they took Spider-Man out of the film I was done with it so I'm assuming if Sony has learned anything from Morbius I mean the two the two time bombing in theater film Morbius if Sony has learned anything I hope that it's you cannot continue the spider-man franchise without spider-man spider-man has to be present regardless and if you take it even back to um i forget what the uh, ceo over at sony i forget his name but you take it back to what even he was talking about and he said that they are going to be in putting a spider-man a new spider-man within their their sony universe so maybe that could be the spider-man that we see in venom 3 maybe it is their spider-man that's going to be taking over their sony universe because we do know andrew garfield is not going to be the spider-man taking over their sony universe obviously toby mcguire is definitely not going to be the spider-man taking over their sony universe at one point we heard it was going to be jessica drew that was going to be the spider woman taking over the helming the new sony universe and everything that they're going to be trying to do but I, since that, I've not heard anything. I haven't heard anything about Jessica Drew since, and it's been a while ago. So we know Spider-Man's supposed to be involved. We know that it's supposed to finally come to a head between Venom and, and Spider-Man. What does that mean for Venom? I hope that that they. I hope that it's not one of those things where Venom and Spider-Man have to team up at the end and they end up fighting the overall villain just because of the way that Sony has painted v Venom. It's not as if Venom is the villain that he is in 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 you know his source material and, and comics and things like that now not to say that venom you know has didn't help they didn't team up him and spider-man had teamed up in comics because they have him and spider-man have teamed up in the comics but with something like this, this is the first time live action we're getting to see spider-man and venom on assuming spider-man is in here again that's just what we've heard with the assumption that spider-man is in this film if this is the first time we're going to be seeing spider-man and venom in live action on the big screen together I want them to fight and I want it to I want it to end not just with you know not don't start the film with them fighting and then again something some overall threat comes to where they're like oh we have to team up together no I don't I don't want that I would prefer it just be a battle between Venom and Spider-Man or Spider-Woman or whatever spider person they are going to be putting in Venom 3 because again Sony is always going to Sony and something that they mentioned there was fucking El Morto this is what I mean we know that Madam Web is supposed to be the linchpin film that sets off the entire Spider-Verse over there for the Sony, for the SSU or whatever it is they're calling it. Um, we know that we know that that's supposed to be setting everything up that's going on over there. And I, I'm excited for Madam Web just because of some of the things we've heard about Madam Web. And I need Madam Web, I have to see Madam Web and I need Madam Web to be good for me for not just myself but for all of us to understand what the fuck sony's doing with this spider-verse where is this going you know is are we are you actually leading to spider geddon some of the things i've talked about you know i believe that all of the events of madam webb and the events that are going to take place in their live action um spider 
series and things that they're doing, the things that are going to happen, and I'm I'm even assuming Craven and all of that is supposed to be connecting uh, to get us to Spider Geddon in the in the Sony universe. And again, take that with a grain of salt because that is the rumor. But I am looking forward to some of the things going on over there, but I'm also trepidatious about some of the things too. Just be, and the only reason I'm looking forward to them is because it's Spider-Man, and I I adore Spider-Man. He out next to T'Challa, he is my second favorite Marvel hero. So I adore Spider-Man, and I don't want to see, um, I don't want to see this franchise in Sony's hands continue to fail. You know, again, you have you have something, a franchise, an IP that is guaranteed to put asses in the seats. Use him. Use him. No one is checking for Craven. No one's checking for fucking El Morto. No one's checking for the buddy cop Rhino and Sandman film that they had planned on doing. You know, you even look at the post credit scene for Mobius, Morbius when you had Vulture show up and he's like, you know, hey, I don't know why I'm here, but I think it has something to do with Spider-Man. Bro, who wrote that? Like, get this shit right. If you're going to do Spider-Man, like, get it right, bro. Don't, don't just half-ass Spider-Man. Don't just half-ass any of this stuff make it make sense and make us love what you're doing over in the sony universe so but you know you may feel differently than i do about it um i, I like i said i'm excited for it don't please don't take don't take that as me not being excited anything spider-man i'm excited for but again i don't want to continue because I, I in the comments let me know did you really enjoy venom 2 let there be carnage i i it was it was the first Venom was fun. I, I enjoyed it because I had fun. Just same thing with Black Adam. I enjoyed Black Adam. I had fun. It was a fun film. To me, it was the most fun action packed superhero film of 2022, my opinion. Venom, the first Venom film was really fun as well. Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. I, I wanted it to be so fucking good because we finally got to see a live action Carnage. Although Carnage was, he was, it was okay. It's okay. It was okay. It wasn't something I loved, and I didn't hate it either. But I feel like with this one, with whatever you're doing with Venom, if we're, again, Spider-Man needs to be in it, but whatever you're doing with Venom, this this threequel, this part of it, needs to be one of those things where people leave saying, holy shit, that was a, an amazing Venom film with Tom Hardy. And, I, you know, something they also said in the article was Tom Hardy's uh, goodbye or his, um, I'm sorry, what they say for Tom Hardy that it's his his send off or his he, he's going to be done after this so uh, what does that even mean what does that mean for future things with with Venom and everything like that what does that mean for Venom in the Sony universe what does that mean for Venom showing up in the MCU and things like that with Tom Hardy not because we've even heard you know speculation that Tom Hardy is rumored to even be in Secret Wars um, and if so I don't know that this would be his last thing. But again, we'll have to wait for more things to come out. We'll have to wait for more credible inside scoopers and things to get on top of some of that news. But as always, question is for you guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking about what's going on with Venom 3. Are you thinking that Spider-Man or a Spider-Person is going to be in it? Are you thinking that Sony has to get this shit figured out? They cannot continue to pump out Spider-Man like Hypno Hustler that they're going to be doing with, with, uh, um, with, uh, um, Donald Glover, like, it's just, who's, I, we're, no one's checking for any of this stuff without Spider-Man, so you guys let me know, are you excited for Venom 3, are you excited for El Morto, are you excited for Madam Web, are you looking at the Sony Universe, the SSU as they call it, and are you looking over there and are you saying to yourself, where the fuck is Spider-Man, you know, all the hype is for um, into the Spider-Verse because it's Spider-Man, you know, regardless of which Spider-Man it is, it is still Spider-Man. We're getting Miles, we're getting Peter, we're getting Miguel O'Hara, we're getting all of the Spider-Man, all the Spider-People that we saw in the trailer. I mean, even in, the, in the, the new poster that they put out, the expanded poster, there's even more Spider-People in it. We're even getting the fucking PlayStation video game Spider-Man showing up in into the Spider-Verse. Those are the things that we as fans are wanting to see. We're wanting to see Spider-Man. Not Spider-Man's villains. Not Spider-Man's compadres. Not his fucking BFFs. We want to see Spider-Man. We want to see a film about the character that we love. So again, let me know down below in the comments what you guys are thinking. I, don't get me wrong. Again, please don't take that as me 
shitting on Venom or not being excited for Venom because I still do like Venom 1. I like Venom 2 and I'm hoping that I can love Venom 3. But again, your mileage may vary. Let me know below in the comments what you guys are thinking.